What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another discussion video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the potential possibility of Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time making its way to the Nintendo Switch. And if you're new around here, I do videos like this every day, discussion videos. So hit that subscribe button. Also, I answer all comments on all of my videos. So if you want to throw your two cents and have a discussion with me in the comment section below, feel free to do so. But with that out of the way, Crash Bandicoot on the Nintendo platform is not something new. We've seen the Insane Trilogy. We've seen Crash Team Racing. Hell, we even seen its counterpart, Spyro the Dragon, make its way on the Nintendo Switch with the reignited trilogy recently from the same creators mind you that is working on the brand new crash bandicoot 4 game and hats off to toys for bob because oh my god this game looks fucking amazing granted it's because it's running and taking its full potential of the PlayStation 4 in Xbox One hardware. So totally, you could easily look at the game and think like, no, there's no way it's gonna actually run on the Nintendo platform, the Nintendo Switch. And mind you, mind you, mind you, if you take a look at not only Toys for Bob's record as far as porting games over that are graphically impressive to the Nintendo Switch, if you look at any other game that is graphically impressive on the counterpart consoles and then look at them being brought over to the nintendo switch like the witcher 3 like skyrim even like crash bandicoot insane trilogy on the ps4 looks incredible it looks incredible on xbox one but then also on the nintendo switch it does look okay enough to actually play and it does feel just like those PS4 versions. Now we aren't just, you know, spitting this idea out from the whim, just like Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy and I believe Spyro had the same issue. On the official website for Crash 4, it's about time, there's a, I believe a pre-order page where you can select your consoles that you want to buy the game for. And currently, on the surface, they have PS4 and Xbox One. But in the source code of the website, there's a mentioning of a tab, a drop down tab for that on the pre order side of Nintendo Switch, also being a selectable option. Currently on the website, you cannot select that option, but there is code written there for potentially if they needed to add a Nintendo Switch option. Now, granted, this is a website. This website was probably built with that option there for whatever Toys of Bob where it's gonna put out and you know, they just tailored it to Crash 4. Crash 4 is not coming to the Nintendo Switch, so hide that option. And that could 100% be the case. But to me, it's not out the realm of possibility. Toys for Bob is definitely known for bringing their games over to the Nintendo Switch, but announcing it and then bringing it over and showing it to the public when the time is right. They're also known for delaying their game and pushing it back just so they could release it at a great state. We know, I believe they did it for the Insane Trilogy, but I know for certain they did it for Spyro Reignited Trilogy, where they delayed it because they wanted the game to be all together in one package, as well as go back in tighten up some stuff that was issues for a lot of people who played early builds of the second and third Spyro games. Now me, as a Nintendo Switch owner, I would love to see Crash Bandicoot, it's about time, Crash 4, it's about time, make its way to the Nintendo Switch. And if it does make its way to the Nintendo Switch, it is gonna get a downgrade. But I do believe the sell factor of the Nintendo Switch is there Toys for Bob knows that, that they're gonna sell a buttload regardless of if it drops later than the Xbox One and PS4 counterparts. I think with the incredible success of the Insane Trilogy and also Crash Team Racing across all platforms, including the Nintendo Switch, I think it's would be, it would behoove them to not at least try to bring Crash 4 to the Nintendo Switch. And I think if it is gonna come to the Nintendo Switch, just like their other games, they're gonna show it when they're ready, when they have a build that's presentable on the graphic side, as well as the playability side. There's a lot of stuff and bells and whistles going on with Crash 
for It's About Time. And I do think they're going to need a lot more time, no pun intended, to actually work on the Nintendo Switch version to make sure that it's up to par and up to snuff that it doesn't feel like a hand-me-down port just to get it out the door with the other versions. Now, that's just me. That's just my opinion. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all comments. It's a discussion video. I want to have a conversation with you in the comment section below. So drop your questions and your thoughts down there. If you're new around here, I do videos like this every day. Dropping Let's Plays, discussion videos, talking Pokemon, talking Crash. And if you're digging the vibe, again, hit that subscribe button, totally free. Also hit the like button, it does help me out a ton as far as moving the video into recommended so other people can check out the videos. Peace, I love you guys, I'ma see you guys on the next one and let me know, again, let me know, would you buy Crash Bandicoot 4 on the Nintendo Switch if it was an option? <laughs> Let's talk about it, I can't wait for this one because this is, <laughs> this is insane. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.